yo before we get into the video if you guys would drop your boy a like and subscribe as well as hit that bell notification so you guys can get notified whenever your boy uploads a video and with that i'm gonna waste more of y'all's time let's get right into the video yo what is up guys it's your boy clouds and today we are back again with another video my bad if i sound quiet i'm actually at my uncle's house so i'm not trying to be too too loud but we're gonna be ranking all fighting styles from worst to best in this video now credit this is inspired by mr lumpia so y'all go subscribe to him down below gpl is getting real dry so it's hard to come up with ideas so i'm not trying to copy him i have been thinking of this idea for a while but let's get into it all right so getting into the first fighting style we have basic combat now for obvious reasons this made it on the worst on the list because it's the first fighting style you start off with when you first start the game it's the basic combat fighting style you literally spawn the game with and it only has two moves heavy punch and gut punch there's no combo ability you can do with this there was some cheese that i think kikazu found back in like update 2 update 3 but that's been patched now and once you switch to a different fighting style you can never go back to basic fighting style probably for good reason too because there's no reason you even need to be using basic fighting style basically what i'm saying is there's nothing you can do with this fighting style it's just complete dead fighting style there's nothing you can do with it and a lot of people like to use it as troll as a troll like stay with it you know all the way up until like max level just a troll but there's honestly no reason that you even need to be using this so there's the first the worst and the first one out the way coming into the second fighting style we have mink combat which actually is kind of disappointing because mink combat is really cool like in the anime you know you have su long form mink like minks are actually really strong in the anime too and then in this game they just get done dirty and it especially sucks because it's on a five percent uh, rarity race that's actually a little difficult to get so it doesn't really make sense why it's so bad it's definitely up due for a buff but the reason that mink combat is actually so bad is because there's nothing you can do with it there's no type of combo potential there's no type of like it doesn't even really pair well with any fruit to be honest with you like there's been builds where there's decent electro builds but there's never been like a single like cheese combo with electro like i think only in update 2 there was with the wall combo and that's another thing the stuns like, like mink mink combat is all about stuns electricity and everything like that but you only really find it useful once you're like wall comboing or using it as a wall combo which as you guys may or may not know is shamed upon in the grand piece online community so if you get caught doing a walk out well you deaf about to get roasted i ain't gonna lie to you you're gonna get called trash everything all the above bro and that's literally all electro is even useful for so i really don't even recommend you guys even like use that for real like i don't know man it's just there's nothing good about the fighting style there's nothing good about that fighting style and it sucks it's really up due for a nerf especially for the fact that you got to get literally the rarest raced in the game to even use it so definitely nothing but downsides there all right child so the next fighting style we actually got is going to be one sword style and this one took me a little bit to decide on to do this because we're kind of in like the mid tier range of fighting styles there's not that many fighting styles in the game so i got the low tier ones out the way first now we're getting the mid tier ones out the way one sword style now this fighting style is not bad at all it is very good but i just feel like it's not as good as the fighting styles that are later that come in this list it's just not doesn't have that much it's got some decent combo potential though and i think it has more high base damage than two sword style but the combo potential isn't as good as two sword style right now it did get a decent buff though it has hyper armor on shishi sunstone as well as dragon blaze i'm pretty sure so it is definitely a solid fighting style and it's probably one of my more favorite fighting styles i definitely have a lot of fun with that one comparative to other fighting styles so overall i do think while it is a solid fighting style it's definitely not as good as the ones to come on this list later on but you really cannot go wrong with one sort of style really high base m1 damage good damage on the moves combos together with a lot of fruits very well especially low damage fruits ones where you don't have to put a lot of points in it that's where one sort of style really thrives off of next one i got on this list is fishman karate now the reason i actually put fishman karate above one sword style is because of multiple different reasons but the main one is the versatility that you have with fishman karate fishman karate is actually insane and really slept on and the one downside i feel like it has is the fact that you need to get that five percent race to even get the fighting style but other than that i mean it's a really good fighting style m1s actually go crazy for as little as 375 stat points into strength you're getting 60 plus m1s 
which is crazy. Even though the M1 range on Fishman Karate is low, that's insane. That's insane no matter how you look at it. Not to mention the fact of the versatility you can do with it. You can solo dungeons with Fishman Karate, so many builds it pairs together with. For example, Fishman Tori, Fishman Mera, Fishman Zushi. The list just goes on and on and on, and there's just so much you can do with this fighting style. Like, this fighting style actually brings you so much more than people are willing to like give it credit for. And in my opinion, if this had Gepo, easily this would be the best fighting style in the entire game, which is probably a good reason why it doesn't have Gepo. Like just the combos you're able to do with it. 5M1s into Water Prison, into Tori, um, Phoenix Burst. 5M1s, you know, Water Prison into He Can. 5M1s, Water Prison into Meteor. You guys get the gist. And you pair it together with something like Flowers? Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This fighting style is even crazier when you add something like Flowers to it. But yeah, overall, I feel like this is above One Sword Style, in my opinion, just because of how much more it offers than One Sword Style. And another thing that it even has a plus with, this is not really as beneficial in Update 4, but some of the moves hit through Logia Bar. So if you happen to run out of hockey, Shark Barrage hits through Logia Bar, Water Prison does, um, that one Water Serpent, as well as the Ult, all hit through Logia Bar. So that is definitely a plus. That was more of a plus back in Update 3 than it was Update 4. Because hockey was a real problem back in update three, but it's still nice to know that you know with this fighting study, some of the moves hit through hot Logia bar. So there's that Fishman, easily probably one of my favorite fighting styles in the game. Definitely deserves more credit than it gets. All right, guys. So getting into the next one on the list. Now coming up to these last three fighting styles, these are all high tiers, but the one on this one right now is two sword style. This may come as no surprise to some of you guys that have just either just started playing in update 4 or maybe you've been playing for a while this fighting style is actually really good because of the combos it has and as well as the damage two sword style honestly goes crazy and it was it's the newest addition to fighting style it just came on update 4 and it is so good to the point where you can even use it as a fruitless and compete with low gear users which is crazy you love to see it a new fighting style getting added and it's so good that you can compete with low gear users also has pretty good versatility. You can solo dungeons with this, as well as like, you know, Fishman and whatnot. My boy Destroyer actually has a guide on how to solo dungeons with it. But it pairs together with so many different fruits. Like I've seen so many crazy builds with two sword style. Goro two sword style, Pika two sword style, Zushi two sword style. It's probably one of the best two sword style builds in my opinion. But one thing it really pairs together well with, just like um, one of the other fighting styles we went on in the, in the video, is fruits that do not take that many stat points. That is the perfect type of pairing you can get with two sword style fruits that don't take as much stat points. That way you can put all those stat points you didn't use for fruit into two sword style and you can just go crazy in the lab and come up with some crazy combos. Overall two sword style in my opinion is a really fun fighting style. If you guys haven't tried this one out, definitely need to try it out. It goes crazy. The combos you can do with this is actually kind of crazy. So there it is, two sword style boys. All right, y'all, the second to last fighting style on this list. And this one might come as a surprise, Roku Shiki. Now, a lot of you probably question why Roku Shiki ain't the best on the list. Well, Roku Shiki has took a big hit in Update 4 and Update 4.5. They nerfed Afro Dashing, which is one of the main things that made Roku Shiki even good or viable, as well as Moose Dragon. Now, this was a glitch, so I do support it getting removed. Uh, she wasn't supposed to be in the game, never was supposed to be in the game. So it makes sense that they removed it. Obviously, if something's not meant to be in the game, you gotta remove it, right? But you can't deny the big hit that Rokushiki took from having this removed. Like, it is not nearly as powerful, and you can't really do much with Rokushiki other than use it for movement. Now, am I saying Rokushiki is bad? Clearly not, since it, you know, made this much on the list. There are definitely useful things you can do with Rokushiki, such as like having Tekai, being able to block certain moves, movement, being able to block bait, and there's still some text out there for Rokushiki, although it took a massive hit. Like I would say Rokushiki lost like more than 50% of the power that it's useful for. There was so much that it was available to or able to do with move stacking and afro dashing and all the other texts that got patched. It just made Rokushiki not as good as it was. And that's kind of why my thought process going into this, why it didn't make first on the list, because you gotta look at what got changed, what got nerfed, what you're able to do, what you're not able to do. And the last fighting style on this list is just able to do so much more and offer so much more than Rokushiki is able to do right now. Now, one interesting thing that I think they could do to make this better is just like how 
Just like how Black Leg has the advanced Black Leg Diablo Jambe, they could do an advanced Rokushiki. Because in the anime, the CP9 agents, they used advanced Rokushiki moves. And I think it'd be dope to see like a Rokushiki advanced version where they use some of the moves that was used in the anime that aren't currently in the game right now. But that is the second to last fighting style on this list. All right, finally, we get into the last fighting style on the list. And if it wasn't obvious enough, obviously it's Black Leg. <laughs> um, Black Leg is on the final part of the list for many different reasons. One of them being how much of a hit Rokushiki took. If Rokushiki had never have taken that hit, I would have said Rokushiki could have kept his reign over as you know the best fighting style in the game. But Black Leg just has so much to offer. And I know my boy Chase is gonna be happy if he's seeing this video, seeing me saying that I think Black Leg's the best fighting style in the game. Now, let's get over it. Um, Black Leg just has so much to offer. Even though Black Leg took some hits, I feel like it got more buffs this update than it did hits. The only real hit it took was a party table kick nerf hit. But even then, I don't think that was like that big of a hit because Diablo Jaume got a pretty decent buff. Black Lake also got a pretty decent buff getting the M1 damage uncapped now. And, you know, Black Lake's also gotten some nice things as well. Got a bunch of sound changes. It, it just seems like Black Lake's been getting a lot of attention lately. And the versatility that it has and all the things you're able to do with Black Lake are pretty insane right now. Literally, this is like an all around fighting style. And that's why I think it's like the best in the game right now. Very good for grinding from level zero to all the way up to max. You can literally get to max just base black leg without fruitless good for grinding you know dungeons and everything you need it for pvp is really solid for as well even fruitless builds and you can really just get creative with the build you want with black leg in general i've seen my boy chase come up with some crazy unique black leg diablo jambe builds with fruits and it is honestly just a really fun fighting style you really cannot go wrong with black leg like no matter how you think of it like you can't go wrong with black leg so that's my list right there, boys. Let me know what you guys thought of the list in its entirety. Let me know what you guys would change. And also, leave a comment down below if you guys would like to see more videos like this on the other things in the game, such as weapons or fruits. Before we wrap up this video, another credit to Mr. Lumpia. I wasn't trying to copy his idea, but there really is nothing I can upload on GPL right now. It's very dry. But nevertheless, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.